Hey guys, happy Monday. Welcome to a little springtime random uh, live video. Um, getting ready for the Knights game, game two. So playing the Jets here in about 30 minutes. So I wanted to have a chance to go live, get um, prep uh, what I'm going to do with you, showing uh, some basic ingredients. You know, I know a lot of people have, you know, been seeing what I've been doing lately, um, you know, in terms of snacks, in terms of breakfast stuff. Uh, did uh, some vegan stuff this morning. Uh, that was definitely for you guys, Michelle and uh, Diana. I know we have to eat soon. Johnny, good to see you, buddy. Thanks for the words. Bernsey, nice to have you in the room. Jackie, howdy. Servando, way too long, brother. Good to see you guys. Um, so just wanted to have a little bit of fun um, with with everything going on tonight um, with uh, the Knights game here in town, or excuse me, in Winnipeg. Decided not to watch uh, at a restaurant at a bar, so we're going to do a little something at home. As you can tell, Welcome Impossible, Rep of the Knights Hard, big fan. It's our secondary logo. Uh, I'm trying to block that life for you guys too. Um, and what I'm going to do tonight is just... Kind of, I want to go live, take a couple questions. See, yes, the beard game is getting strong, buddy. Not as good as yours, though. You know that. Um, but I'm going to do some sweet potato fries. And so you guys know that I've been doing a lot of sweet potatoes. Not really tasty, great source of protein, um, super healthy. And what I do, Elio, nice to see you, buddy. Don't know if you're in Vegas or in Arizona. Um, but sweet potato fries, I bake mine. Um, I think you guys have learned, so those of you watching, I've got a little countertop toaster oven over there. Um, gets about 450, 500, depending on what's going on. And I roast in there. I've roasted turkey breast, uh, I've roasted chicken, uh, just doing a little something fun. So tonight what I did was, um, I'm going to prep some sweet potatoes. So we're going to, we don't have two cameras. So I know you guys know that. So we're going to move a couple things around here. So bear with me, watch that light. So what I did was I've got, got two sweet potatoes. What I'll do is I'll cut those into strips in a little bit, get those going. Um, I like mine a little bit thinner. Um, rather, rather than super, super thick, just because we're baking them instead of frying. So just something to keep in mind. And then what I did tonight, you got, a few guys have seen me um, before in the past use Mama Nyman's Five Spice. So Mama Nyman's Five Spice has been one of the staples of my cooking for years. Um, it is cracked black pepper, kosher salt, a little paprika, uh, garlic powder, and then we also use a little brown sugar. So super simple. Just a little something fun. But tonight I changed it up a little bit, um, which is kind of cool. So what I've got here, hopefully you guys can see it a little bit from afar. So it's kind of funny. Manny, good to see you, buddy. TJ, nice to have you back in the room. No cocktails. Sarit, wow, got everyone. So what I've got, guys, just again, tonight in the spice mixture, a little bit different. Uh, we're going to do smoked paprika, do a little cumin. We did. I did some cracked black pepper some kosher, uh, or excuse me, some sea salt tonight. Um, and then I threw a little bit of white sugar. So I didn't really want to use brown sugar tonight, but again, uh, just a little something fun. So for those who you missed it, I'm gonna take some sweet potatoes, make some sweet potato fries, which is kind of cool. Got our spice blend already in advance once I chop up those sweet potatoes and we'll bake them in the oven at 450, get them, uh, get them going, they'll finish the broil, which is kind of cool. So that's on the side. Uh, another something that I decided to do, because I think a lot of you guys know, I like doing sauces and dipping sauces and kind of having fun with it, um, is I'm going to make a little dipping sauce. So we're going to do a little, my version, a little bit healthy, a uh, little bit fun. Um, I've always loved making sauces, so this is just something I want to share with you guys. And again, uh, if you guys, hi Jess, nice to see you. Um, uh, moving forward, if you need to, or please find me on Instagram, Cooking Corey uh, is the new one. So Cooking Corey and also Eat Drink Vegas. Uh, Eat Drink Vegas is my personal one and you can always find me at thenymangroup.com. So a couple things. As I said, we're going to do a little dipping sauce before we get rolling. So let's have a little bit of fun. So the cool thing, the cool thing about me with dipping sauces, is I like using a multi-purpose, uh, whether it could be for sweet potatoes today, it could be for chicken salad tomorrow, could be for all sorts of stuff. So um, first, I'm going to take classic guys, Great Poupon. And who remembers the commercial from the 80s? I know a few of you are out there. So we're going to take a little Grey Poupon. Take that simple bowl. Very straightforward. Nice and easy. Then this is something, kind of one of my things, guys. I do like mayonnaise. Uh, I always have. Um, I know a lot of people have swapped it out over the years for... Um, 
for Greek yogurt, uh, some people use sour cream, you know, depending on how they're doing it. I actually really like a lot of these olive oil mayos. Uh, they're pretty good. They work. They're flavorful. They add body. They add flavor. Uh, something kind of cool. So I'm going to take a little bit of mayo, get that going in here. And again, guys, I'm literally doing this by hand, by sight, by measure. That's my just the way I like to do it. So that, that's me. That's how I'm doing it. Uh, then I'm going to kind of change it up a little bit today. Organic, unfiltered apple cider vinegar. I love the Bragg stuff. Uh, this one is actually from Australia, I believe. Um, or excuse me. Yeah. Made in Australia from Australia and New Zealand vinegars. Big, big, big fan here. Big, big, big fan. So we're going to check this out. I just want to use a little dab just to kind of brighten up the flavors a little bit here. And I don't want it too loose. So yes, I did say loose. Bear with me, guys. Okay, this is family show still. Again, then going back to our friends at Ripe Juice Company. Um, they've been great supporters for a long time of mine. Uh, great friend, Angela Leonardo. Thanks, Uncle Ange. So uh, I'm going to use their Eureka Lemon just to kind of, again, we've got some acid in there as well from the apple cider vinegar. Use a little more acid. This is super bright, guys. So, I mean, it's beautiful. So it's kind of fun. So I'm going to use that. Just another dash. And then one of my secret ingredients as well. Honey. I'm a sucker for honey mustard. Not going to lie. Uh, this is actually from Montana, which is really cool. Um, never give up apiaries. So I found this last year uh, in Montana when I was in the Flathead Valley um, at their uh, farmer's markets. Really cool. Dan, good to see you. Christine, sending all the best. Todd, good to see you from afar, buddy. So I'm going to use a little bit of a uh, little honey. So big fan. Great, tasty, little sweetness, uh, a little more body to it too. So we got that going. Everyone see that? Look at that. Look at that, honey. Look at isn't that nice? Oh, that's that's tasty. Well, all right, so we got that going. Again, that's really good. Not gonna lie, guys, that is really tasty. Let's see. Hold on, let me see if I can get you. So right now, here's what we got. A couple more things though. Missing two things. Two things. Crack black pepper and a little bit of sea salt. So take a little crack black pepper. Got that going in there. Sea salt. This is one of my favorite grinders. I picked up many, many years ago. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It's really great in the hands. So just a couple twists on that, which is kind of cool. And I'm going to mix. And I'm just going to mix in a simple bowl. We're going to go through it. Just get it going. It's a little loose right now, as we know, but you can always add a little Dijon mustard, a little bit more, which is kind of fun. And then I'm going to use this for my dipping sauce to make sweet potato fries. So for those of you who added on, nice to have you guys in the room, or at least from afar, from Facebook Live, which is great. So we've got this going, little, little mixture, little sauce. What do you think? How are we doing? Yeah? Look good? It's mixing. It's mixing. So we're going to mix that around, guys. And then for those of you who, are, who just added, take some sweet potatoes. We've got those going. I'm going to chop those up in a little bit. We've got, tonight we're doing a little bit of different spice mixture. This one's kind of cool, guys. Hopefully I can, there you go. So we've got smoked paprika in here tonight, a little cumin, salt, pepper, um, and a little bit of uh, white sugar tonight. So a little something different, kind of getting ready for the night's game. Um, that's just a little something. Guys, you're always welcome. You can find me. Again, you can find, look, this is nice and perfect. Look at that. Perfect dipping sauce. Hold on. Should we taste it? What do you think? Anyone think I should taste it? Any votes? That does not suck. That does not suck. That is really, really good. So again, just took olive oil mayonnaise, a little Dijon, a little honey, a little bit of Eureka lemon ripe juice, a little unfiltered apple cider vinegar from Australia, and uh, salt and pepper, guys. Super simple, very straightforward, and always fun. So just going to do that. Got our dipping sauce. It's done. It's ready to rock. Looks pretty good. Mixed a little bit more. And if you want, you can always throw a little olive oil in here. I, I love extra virgin olive oil in it. Uh, it's just a little something to do. That's me. But take it to the mixture. Have fun with it. You can use that mixture in chicken salad. You can use it with turkey. All sorts of fun stuff. So, guys, so what we're going to do again, roasting that with some sweet potato fries. Got the mixture going. Going to get a few other things. Nano, Mookie, Nano, good to see you guys. How are you? 
Uh, getting ready for the Knights game here in Vegas. Uh, excuse me, the game is in Winnipeg, but here in Vegas, we're getting ready for it. So, and uh, just doing a little, you know, cooking with Corey, cooking at home, cooking for one. Um, guys, write in, send notes, send uh, recipe ideas. I mean, it was great. I got a, thanks, buddy. Good to see you, Todd. Um, got a really nice note the other day um, from a, uh, a new friend who's in the music industry, and they asked if I could um, get them a, um, you know it, you know it, but. Uh, they asked if I could get a Cajun pasta idea uh, and a recipe because she was having trouble uh, making that. So it's something we might get to. Bear with me. Uh, we roasted some sweet potatoes today. I'm going to probably, I did a beautiful New York strip the other day. Uh, I might put up some, um, some uh, ribs later. But uh, stay tuned, guys. Keep tuning in. Thanks so much for your report. Again, Cooking Corey on Instagram and Eat Drink Vegas. Peace out, guys. Go Knights. LV City, baby. LV City.